everyone, it's Ms. Wagner. Today I'm going to help explain the concepts of race, ethnicity, and nationality. And these are all concepts that have to do with how we identify ourselves and how um, we help kind of understand social groups in the world. And they're kind of big ideas that are hard to understand. So I'm going to simplify them and explain them using jelly beans. And I'll talk a little bit as I go about how that relates to human beings. So these are my little jelly beans. And right now they're divided into groups based on what color they are. And so when we think about people and we think about race, we're typically talking about skin color. There are some other things that go along with race when we talk about human beings. Um, for example, hair type is something that goes along with race, but overall we're talking about skin color. And so we can typically see somebody's race um, when we look at them and we can see what color these jelly beans are. Now, it's important to note that we can't always tell everything about somebody's race and we can't actually kind of tell everything about these jelly beans race either. So for example, we have some jelly beans that um, are actually identifying in multiple racial groups and human beings can do that too. So some people um, belong to two racial groups or identify with more than one racial group. So for example, we have some jelly beans in this category, this pink group of jelly beans that actually fit really well into this group as well. And so they identify with both and people can do that too. So for example, if you have a, um, a white mom and a black dad, you might be mixed race and identify both as black and white or identify as mixed. And that's just because people can have more than one race. Ethnicity is a little bit different. So ethnicity has less to do with what we see about the jelly beans. We know that these jelly beans all look different. Um, ethnicity has more to do with um, the flavor of the jelly beans. So I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of these different colors in this jelly bean bag, a few different jelly beans that have the same flavors, or sorry, the same colors, but different flavors. So if, for example, I have jelly beans in this bag that are cherry, and I have jelly beans that are watermelon, and I have jelly beans that are strawberry. And they all look exactly the same, but we know that if I taste them, they'll taste totally different. And this is true of ethnicity too. So we cannot tell somebody's ethnicity just by looking at them. And human ethnicity includes a whole bunch of different things. So it can include our traditions, our ancestry, our language, our history, the society we belong to, our culture, our nation, our religious beliefs. So there's a lot of different things that go into ethnicity and um, people that look alike can have different ethnicities. So for example, two people can be the same race and have different ethnicities. So you could be black and one person might be black and be African-American and another person might be black and be African-Caribbean. And so it's important to understand that race, race and ethnicity are not the same concept. You can think of nationality as what bag the jelly beans came from. And this is kind of oversimplified and I'll explain what I mean by that. But I have jelly beans that came from the tropical bag. I have jelly beans that came from the fave red bag. And I have jelly beans that came from the original bag. And for example, if you are an orange jelly bean, you could have come from the tropical bag and you could have come from the original bag. So just because you look one way doesn't mean I can tell which bag you came out of. And so people are the same way that you might be a certain race or a certain ethnicity. And it doesn't mean that I can tell what nation you came from or what nationality you are. Nationality gets a little more complicated with people too because nationality doesn't have to stay the same. So for example, you can immigrate, so you can change um, what country you live in, you can change where your citizenship is, um, you can also have no citizenship, um, and you can have dual citizenship or multiple citizenship. So you can actually have nationality for more than one country. But um, that's kind of an overview of race, ethnicity, and nationality. So to go back and summarize, race is like the color of the jelly bean, right? So what color we're looking at. So if we have green jelly beans, orange jelly beans, purple jelly beans. Ethnicity is like the flavor of the jelly bean. So if we have apple jelly beans and lime jelly beans. And, and nationality is which bag the jelly beans came from. So hopefully that helps you understand those concepts and helps you to start, think up, to start to think about your own identity in terms of what your own race, ethnicity, and nationality are.